All right, guys, welcome back. Half fast, seven one nine. Let's see, I got some earplugs or earmuffs on that I can't turn my neck because they're so tight. So I'm gonna compare the cut difference between the Osa Tools Precision Cutting four and a half inch cutoff wheel versus Swap Meat brand. Um, so what I'm going to be cutting here, <coughs> um, I'm going to be doing, cutting this quarter inch steel. So what we got is we got nine inches here, and or sorry, 12 inches there. I'm lost now. <laughs> sorry, this is 12 inches here. Because this is a two foot sheet, so I'll have 12 inches, 12 inches, and then 9 inches. So it's going to be used for this to add some rigidity to this. Because this thing likes to flex a lot when it's running. So this is uh, 9 inches wide and then 12 inches long uh, that way. So, I'm going to set you guys up, I'm going to make a cut, I'm going to do an equal cut, um, I'm going to cut, uh, I'll probably cut this here with the swap meat one and I'll cut that there with the uh, Ulsa tools. So, as you can see, I have this, obviously that's bigger, this is smaller and thinner, so this should cut through a lot easier. So, I would almost say they're equal, um, other than the big one. Uh, it's got a little more cutting capacity. So, basically this is not no scientific test or anything. This is just uh, me testing that uh, cutoff wheel and seeing if it's any good or not. So, anyway. Uh, let me get set up and I'll put you on a little time lapse, time lapse, a little fast forward and we'll see what happens. Don't forget safety glasses too.
All right, guys, as you saw, that's the swab meat one. Uh, and it did go through a whole battery. So, let's go ahead and hook up this also tool on. Let's see what that one does. Now, if you've seen, change the battery. Battery still has two bars. So, let's give it a go. Alright guys, they both took the same amount to cut, they both went through one, one complete battery, <clears throat> one complete, uh, I think they're 5 amp batter batteries, um, I would say it's, it's kind of a toss up, but as you can see the size comparison, let's do it before and after. Sorry, I got. I probably should have been wearing a respirator, but I'm not allowed to wear respirators anymore because I'm not a doctor, apparently. Anyway, just kidding. Um, so let's let's see here. Here we go. We got we got brand new and brand new. So as you could see, that one is completely. Still, probably has about four more cuts it can make. Four more 12 inch cuts at least. And this one here, I would say this uh, four and a half inch. I would say that disc is, is pretty much, it's probably got about three three inches left on it that it could probably cut and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll probably prove that by cutting that and remember this is nine inches so it'll probably be able to cut three inches and then this this will be gone no more um, and then I'll finish it off with this this I know because I always get these I know how long they last um, but yeah, so let me, uh, clean up the area. I'll put this disc back on and we'll see how far it cuts. I'm going to say 
I'm gonna take a guess and say three more inches. So let me get all set up and we'll do it again. Well, there you have it guys. If you flip, so it cut the nine inches. It cut about I don't know, I would just I would say about eight inches of it all the way through. And then I had to turn it over. And that is what we're left of. That's what we're left with. When I say I use every bit of the tool I can, this is my normal leftover remnants. As you can see, right here. Looks like a Pokemon ball, Pokeball, whatever they call those things. Anyway, so uh, I can't remember what they were asking I think they were asking like 20 bucks for a set of five so that's uh what is that four dollars and twenty cents a piece is it worth it you guys be the judge I did the test you guys do the be the judge I get a pack of these 25 of these at the swap meet for 20 bucks so for me it's worth it to get these. Um, you do have to take the guard off. However, for safety, I would go with the Ulsa tool route um, because they can fit in the guard. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for that uh, tool review, I guess you can call it, since I uh, finally able to do a tool review. So I'll put a link in the description below where to buy those, just go to osatools.com um, and you can buy those if you feel like you need to buy them. I do not know the part number or I probably the part number is probably on here but it's IPT-CD005 It's hard to read it, it's right above the barcode um, but yeah um, Skillful, S-K-I-L-F-U-L. So, there's your little uh, comparison, I guess. Um, I'm not like a farm project, project farm, where he tests all that stuff and he builds all these tools and apparatuses. I don't do that. I do with what I got because I don't have time to build a lot of stuff. So anyway, guys, link in the description. Uh, for the one, I'll try to look up the six inch. Get there six inch. Um, yeah, six inch by one sixteenth, or a hundred and fifty millimeter. Um, I'll try to look those up. See if I can't find them. If I do find them, they'll be in the description with the link for those two. So, all right, I gotta blow my nose, guys. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. Safety glasses earmuffs, earplugs, and uh, probably dust mask or respirator will work, but saving those for uh, a type of virus that I don't want to die. So, I guess, later.